on this episode of Undivided. I'm a property manager, so I take care of buildings where people work. Yeah, I'm super pumped to go hunting. I cannot wait. I've been watching all kinds of videos and doing all kinds of reading, and I've got a couple calls that I've just been working. I don't believe it. That was awesome. So weird. Look at this guy, man. I remember our producer, Nate, invited me to go turkey hunting and ended up harvesting my, my first bird and it changed my life. It created a, a passion, an addiction to be back in that moment as many times as often as I could. And I think at the heart of it, that's what Undivided is about. It's doing what Nate did for me, introducing me to the outdoors, introducing me to turkey hunting and now we just want to take as many people as we can and, and give them that same experience. I love Denver because it's a very good mix of kind of the urban environment as well as being close to the mountains. The weather can be a little bit extreme, but for the most part, there's so much to love about Colorado. I'm a property manager, so I take care of buildings where people work, custodial, mechanical, energy consumption, balancing tenant needs and uh, owner demands. It's a lot of time indoors visiting folks and taking care of equipment, answering emails on the computer, that, that type of thing. This is one of our boiler rooms. Um, our team takes good care of our equipment. I like to make it last as long as we can for uh, the owner's sake, for our customer's sake both. Um, so it's important that we keep this stuff in tip top shape to make it work and um, make it last a long time. been married to my wife for eight years and I'm very much in love with her. We have a four-year-old boy and a three-year-old girl. Levi is my son and I am very proud of him. He doesn't have to do anything for me to be proud of him. I just, I'm glad that he's my son. Olivia is uh, very precious in every way. I'm glad to have a daughter and a son. That's such a gift to have one of each. Janella is totally my best friend. We have so much fun together. I feel like now, today is like in the middle of happily ever after, like we are enjoying a good gift together. It's, this is it, you know, very grateful for her. Hiking for us is just a favorite activity for everybody in the family. We love to get away from kind of the daily grind in the city, the traffic, and get out into the fresh air and see just some majestic views. I mean, we look at the mountains every day and they just kind of call us all the time. And it's just such a pleasure to go out there and know that, hey, we're not really leaving this for a long time. We get to come back here out to the mountains again soon. Here in Colorado, there are a ton of opportunities to hunt. So I've been set up with a bow for archery. Um, all the hunting out here is out in the mountains and it can be uh, pretty strenuous physically. So I've been getting in shape, working out pretty hard, getting ready for um, future hunting here, but to go start with turkey hunting, to learn about everything that goes into getting set up, um, being prepared, taking care of it in the field and then bringing it home. Yeah, I'm super pumped to go hunting. I cannot wait. I've been watching all kinds of videos and doing all kinds of reading and I've got a couple calls that I've just been working. I don't think it totally sounds right right now that I don't know that I can draw any bird in, but eventually I'll get it and I cannot wait for that moment to just bring a bird in. I probably will not sleep very much right before the trip, so it's gonna be a good time. Last night we roosted two gobblers, so this morning I'm looking at some maps of the farm uh, 
Joe and Bub are on their way. It's a little windy though. It's like 18 mile an hour wind. So hopefully that doesn't mess anything up. We'll see. So Nate's grandpa has been watching these two gobblers for two months and they do the same thing every morning. They fly down in this field and they stay in the field until noon. And Nate set up a blind for us, putting us in the right position to hunt these birds. Yeah, it's windy out there, dude. Yeah. So the blind I set it up last night after dark would like to have been a little closer to where the turkeys are roosting, but yeah. I just didn't want to like mess it up. And since I knew their pattern was to come down that fence, I was just kind of played it safe. And yeah. So we're probably 200 yards from where the turkeys are roosted right now. So it sounds like it's going to be an episode of Murder, She Wrote. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody better call Angela. <laughs> Well, we're here in southwest Missouri this morning on Nate's Ranch, and uh, man, I got my buddy Joe here from Denver. What's up, baby? What's up, dude? <laughs> we're about to put Joe on his first turkey ever, and we are pumped. We had these two gobblers fly down at first light, and we thought it was on, but then two hens flew down, two shady ladies. Um, so they're out there doing what they do. We're gonna we're gonna sit tight here for a while, see if we can get them to come in. I wish I'd had that in out another five yards. You see how there's a little bit. Well, we hunted these birds for four hours. And after they stepped out of sight, Joe slipped out of the blind and moved our decoy to a higher vantage point. That was amazing. So I don't believe it. Dude. That was awesome. So bad. Look at that, man. Oh. You plowed his head. That yes. is awesome, dude. <laughs> dude. Oh. Thank you. Oh my gosh. Wow. Dude. Look at this guy, man. Oh, that is awesome, man. Yes. Finally pulled him in. Started rocking the purr, and eventually, man, I don't know, about 50 yards out, they locked in, both of them. Oh, 
Oh, do you love it, dude? I do. <laughs> awesome. Man. Well, Joe gets a good dose of turkey hunting. Sometimes it happens right off the bat, and sometimes you wait and you wait and you wait, and that's exactly what happened this morning. All right, man, I'm gonna go get my knife and we will harvest the meat off this beautiful bird. Man, this is a special moment for me, Joe. It was on this very farm years ago that Nate introduced me to turkey hunting. Yeah. And it changed my life. Shot my very first gobbler on this farm, and today, you did the same thing, man. Awesome. Beautiful place, too. And that's really what this show is all about, man. It's taking something that we have been so blessed um, to be able to hunt these birds, harvest these birds, feed our families with these birds. And uh, now we're just going around and introducing as many people as we can to these amazing birds. Isn't that gorgeous? It is. Man, it was a pretty sweet experience, the whole thing taking so much longer than I guess I thought it would take at the beginning. The way they would just lock up, they would come in and then stop and be like, we'll see you another day. And then just working back around and so, learned a lot today and it was really, really fun. On the next episode of Undivided. Dude, we about to tear up some country cooking. Years ago, Nate put me on my very first bird on this very ranch. And yesterday, got to introduce you to turkey hunting, put you on your first bird on this ranch. And the next day, we come out here and do it again. <laughs>